Hello and welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2020 and part 2 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. Thank you for all of the support on episode 1. If we can hit that like button again that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, so many comments of support. I really do appreciate it so thank you. And make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily Critic Captain 2020 content. And uh, just to remind everybody, or maybe let you know, there are three links down below in the description where you can really help me out with the Two Phase project. Um, there's a video on the channel homepage about what this Two Phase project is. And I'd really appreciate your support if you could give it. Uh, but anyway, today we have got the second test match against uh, the West Indies so uh, first of all we're going to have a little look at the squad see what we can do to uh, change change it up a little bit because although we won the first test match quite comfortably in the end I think we could have done a, a, a hell of a lot better so um, we're just going to have a little look at uh, what happened in that first match so um, Joss Butler didn't have the, the best of times okay he only had one go at it um, looking at the ball and Anderson and Broad were, were brilliant Archer and Leach were alright as well um, but we're actually going to take uh, Chris Walks out of it um, and we might also take Butler out of it and we're going to stick uh, Ollie Pope in uh, somebody said yesterday about Ollie Pope and uh, you know I think he's, he's worth a shot definitely had a good winter with the team and also Sam Curran uh, we'll bring in as well and uh, yeah we'll see how they get on we'll see if they play in a minute um, I think Ollie Pope will, will definitely have a go um, so hopefully we'll see the best of him uh, Anderson Wood uh, Archer oh no more coaching sessions so we need some fielding sessions we'll give Root some ground fielding and base door. Whoops. Some keeping. Um, physio sessions. Joe Root. And let's go with Stokes. Okay. That looks fine to me. I'll just slightly adjust the, the lighting. So hopefully that's all right. So uh, the, the West Indies then. I've moved myself over to this side of the screen today. So... You know, let me know if this works better for you than yesterday. So let's get into the action then. Um, so Rory Burns and, and Dom Sibley, we'll, we'll keep with those two. We'll see how they do today. Joe Denley at three. Joe Root at four. Uh, Ollie Pope at five. Johnny Bairstow six. Stokes seven. Archer eight. Um, I'm going to go with Leach. Uh, I think... Unchanged bowling lineup. I think we did all right last time. Uh, I think we will just keep an eye on it, really. Um, so yeah, we'll stick with that. Anderson, uh, eleven. Obviously, there's always this glitch where Broad ends up being the first bowler and Anderson ends up being the second bowler, and it winds me up. But uh, let's have a little look at the conditions then. So it is going to be uh, quite rainy actually throughout this match so it's going to be one that we want to get over within three days like the last one so heads is the call and we've got the option of batting first which I think looking at how the pitch is going to deteriorate we're going to take that opportunity to get some runs on the board and work from there so here we go ready and raring to go in this match then so Rory Burns and Dom Sibley Maybe just keep them on two bars at the start of this match. And hopefully they can do some a superb drive. good work. That's certainly a good start for us. Four and there's another one. A poor ball, but he still had to put it away. Awesome. So Rory Burns looking good. Early doors. A tremendous drive. And Dom Sibley not looking too bad either. So if we can get a... Well, we're not going to quite get 100 runs from this first session, but... 
and that's a get nice towards spot. that target. That would be nice. Fielder had no chance. So 60 without loss after the first uh, session. Rory Burns looking good in particular. That was a very nervous looking shot. Uh, he's on, well, in the 40s now. That's a nice shot. That's four. So Rory Burns looks like he might go towards his 50. Sibley looking not too bad either, but just going at a much nice slower time. rate. But there's a boundary or two just to help him out. That's a good looking And another one. Off. So maybe starting to force the issue a little bit. And that's a great shot from Rory Burns, and that's 50 for him, his first half century of the summer. Excellent to see. Great ball, but the batsman survives. A big appeal. No, that's going to miss Not off out. stump. The bowler looks furious, and the bats are rather sheepish. Let's have a little look. Yeah, pitched outside leg anyway, but was going to fly past off stump. Oh yeah. dear. Oh, misfield. It was a good shot though from Sibley. Oof. They're appealing, but not out. Another good shot from Rory Burns. Good recovery after potentially feeling a little hot under the collar. Oh, that could be out. And it is. So, first wicket drop. Sibley gone for 43. Uh, and we're now 111 for one, but a decent start from those two. Oh, that was close. Which is good. Oof. And that's four more. It's in the air, but it's gone for four. And Rory Burns heading towards that sentry mark. Joe Denley will hopefully help out as well. Yeah, Denley looks in good touch. He's middled that. Couple of fours in that over. On that run rate. Oh, another cracker from Rory Burns. This is what we like to see. Let's maybe force the issue a little bit. Nice four. T interval. 141 for one. Um, you know, definitely getting about 80 runs in that session. So. Excellent to see. Denley starting the third session of the day as he ended it. Rory Burns heading towards that sentry mark as well. Which is right wonderful to see. That's a cracking shot. Let's just have a little look at Rory. How many test sentries has he had? He's had two. Top score of 133, so could definitely be a very good day for Burns. Oh, but that could be out. Not out. Ooh. Yeah, just struck outside the line. Very, very fortunate. I thought. It's going to be four leg buys. Oh, what a shame. Burns is gone. He's out for 95, out in the nervy 90s. And, well, what a shame. Captain Root now comes to the crease. Averages 100 in first-class cricket so far this year. Needs to... That was probably going down the leg side. Needs to show his class. That was a, a terrific ball and a terrific decision. But, yeah, we need to, to hold on for the rest of the day now. Oh, lovely shot from Root. Beautiful stroke, four run. Lovely on the back foot, swatted it away. And lovely from Joe Denley. He's coming back for two. And that's going to be his 50. 50. Well so done. well played to Joe Denley. And this is exactly what we needed. What oh, but he's gone. He's gone. He's out for 50. So Ollie Pope comes to the crease with half an hour to go in today's session. Like a rocket. Four runs. So hopefully we don't le lose any more wickets. West Indies take the new ball. And that's a fine catch. Pope gone for two. 
I think we might have to bring in Jack Leach as a um, as a night watchman here and just see out the day. This looks close. Well, the batsman's always going to get the benefit of the doubt. Good ball. Last time Leach came in as a night watchman, he ended up making about 89, I think it was. Was it 89? 92. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, uh, Joe Root comes in at the start of the day. That well. Four runs, don't bother running. Nice shot. The bowler's looking at the footholds, but it was just a bad ball. Great shot. Four runs. What an over from Joe Root. Three fours there. Nice and ball. Jack Leach is gone, but he did his job. He's seen out the night. And now Johnny Bairstow comes in, but rain has stopped play, unfortunately. And 48 minutes have been lost. Beautiful. So I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Oh, excellent. Johnny Bairstow was obviously in fabulous form in the last test match, but there's 50 for Joe Root. So third half century of the innings. Can he go and turn it into three figures? And play a captain's innings. He's certainly playing very, very well today. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Stylish shot. This is very good. So lunch interval day two, and we're now two eighty six for five. This has to but that could be out, and it is out. Joe Root gone for seventy two. Hmm. That's hit him. And oh, and that's hit Ben Stokes. Please don't be retired her. And that's the end of his. No. Heading for the pavilion. So Ben Stokes out of the match then, and that's a huge impact on Bolin as well. Four more, and no one's moved. The big shout. And that's Archer gone. On his. He's out for two. That's very, very close indeed. Well, the umpire says not out. So we've only got two more wickets to go here. Bear stores at the crease, so anything is kind of possible here. Yeah, it's a nice four shot. Runs. For four. There's another one. And that's four. That's a confident appeal. No, he's not going to give those out. No, that was slipping down the leg side, I'm afraid. Oh, excellent. This is good from Johnny Bairstow, managing to, you know, get as much out of this innings as possible. They're appealing. Broad's gone. He's out for one. Anderson comes to the crease now. I think we're just going to attack with Johnny Bairstow, but he's not even going to get the chance because Anderson's gone, and there we are, all out for 323. A very good innings from Rory Burns, Joe Root, and Joe Denley, uh, and a, a late cameo from Johnny Bairstow as well. Dom Sibley did all right, but once again, everybody else... Not really there today. Obviously, we didn't get to see Ben Stokes and the extent of what he could do. But uh, 323 all out. It's a, a par start, I would say. Uh, and hopefully we can take advantage of uh, the fact that it's a bit cloudy. Hopefully Jimmy Anderson can, can come and get some wickets. So here we go. Broad and Anderson once again. Opening off the ball and attack. And hopefully they'll do just as well as they did last time. Anderson into Campbell. Caught and bowled. So Anderson makes the breakthrough. Campbell gone for 20. And the West Indies now 33 for 1. Broad now into Brathwaite. And that's edged for 4. Um, we've just got to make sure that we um, split the ball and 
responsibility as well. But Jack Leach getting an excellent uh, wicket there in his first over. This would really help if he was on top form today. It could be a run out here. Oh, this should be a run out. And it is. It is a run out. Brathwaite's gone. He's run out for 21. Which is excellent. Archer now into Dorich. Ooh. It's wafted past the outside edge. But that one's caught and balled. Archer gets his first wicket. West Indies 64 for 4 here. What an excellent start. Right, Joe Denley, I'll bring him in as well. Here comes Jack Leach. The bat turned in his hand. He's edged it. <laughs> Just trying to make sure. Well, the bowl is appealing. We're resting up the. Not out. No point. The mainline bowlers. Anderson back in. That was a horrible shot. And Broad. So Anderson and Broad. Bowler what appeals. Can you do? Not out. Good decision. I think that was going down leg side. Let's have a little look at it. Yeah, and it was. Anderson into chase. That's out. That is plum LBW. And he has gone for 25. Uh, sorry about the um, the thing there. Just somebody subscribing. So thank you very much to that person there. Broad now into Blackwood. Oh, and that's out. What a terrific delivery from Stuart Broad. Blackwood gone for 40. And now the West Indies are 125 for 6. Broad in again. That and that's it. Hit the pads. He's going to be on a hat trick here. Hold that gone for a duck. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's watch the hat trick ball. Not quite. Just a single. But uh, very good from Stu Broad. But there's another wicket. LBW, Stu Broad. What an over. Three wickets in it for uh, Stuart Broad and that's his third wicket of the innings overall all of them coming in that over that's edged and gone Roach is, is out Broad gets his fourth wicket he's gone for two and it's 129 for nine now and there's his five wicket haul what a spell of bowling from Stuart Broad absolutely fantastic pinpoint accuracy Shannon Gabriel gone for a duck and the next time Stuart Broad comes out, he's going to have another hat-trick ball. Well, what a ball and performance in the end there. West Indies, 129 all out. Unfortunately, we can't enforce the follow-on. Uh, Broad, pick of the ball, that's 5 for 33. Anderson, 2 for 16 as well. Uh, a wicket each for Leach and Archer. And, of course, that run out of uh, Craig Brathwaite at the start of the innings but that all means that we have a lead of 194 as we go into the second innings now there's still six overs left of uh, the, the, the day so we want to make sure that we get to the end of the day and we do just that so uh, Rory Burns and Dom Sibley will hopefully manage to, to get through but we are going to lose quite a bit of uh, play in day three uh, just because of what the weather's like. So, we'll keep an eye on that. But he's showing some aggressive intent there. Yeah, that's a good shot from oh. Sibley. Nice shot. A big shot goes Ooh, up. last the ball of the save. session. And there's no point in glaring I at the back. I think it pitched outside leg. Yeah, that was the problem there. So, T interval day three. And yes, rain stops play, 43 minutes lost, so we've still got 30 overs or so Fine left shot. in day three. And it's all about sort of working out exactly how we're going to deal with this. Rory Burns gone for 25 this time, so a bit disappointing. He was fishing for that. And remember, we have only got nine wickets in this innings because Ben Stokes is out of the match. A savage oh, shot. What a. What a cover drive that was from Denley That's a massive but that could be out and it is 
and he's given out. He was absolutely dead in the water. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, it was just going to clip. Leg stump. So, there you go. Uh, bad light. So, end of day three. And we end it on 71 for two. A lead of 265. And we'll come out the next day with Captain Root and Dominic Sibley. Looking to make a good impact. Really well, that's four buys. That's it, the pads. But that's out. Captain Root gone. He's out for four. And the West Indies have us three down here. So Ollie Pope going to have to do a lot better than he did in the first innings. And Sibley as well. Looking pretty decent. And that's four. I'm happy with this, but that could be plum. Well, the bowler's muttering under his breath. I, I think it's uh, outside leg. I think that's a problem. Yeah, once again, when you bowl round the wicket, it that's always a problem. Well, uh, so many better catches. There you go, Pope gone. He's out for twelve, so he struggled in this innings uh, or in this match, I should say. Jack Leach up the order, uh, which was a bit of a mistake. He hasn't got hold of that. An almighty miscue, but it's gone to the boundary. Four more. Good shot from Johnny. He's miscued that. And another inside edge for four. But it's four runs nonetheless. Well, getting away with it here. What was the batsman thinking of? Can we get to 50? Beater. So, Sibley. Yes, we can. Gets a quick single in there, and Sibley manages to get to his half century, which is excellent. So it's everyone except Pope that's got a half century in the top order in this match. Oh, mediocre fielding there. That's four buys. Second time that's happened. Well, it had to be very quick indeed to try and make that. That's and that's out. So Sibley gone for 53, unfortunately. Another case of getting in and getting out on. Unfortunately for us, but Besto managing to forcing stroke off the back foot. Do okay. Obviously, Jofra Archer can play. It's just whether he turns up. But this is an excellent start from Archer. Lunch interval day four. We are 159 for six. That's a lead of 353. Really cracked that one. Good. Yeah, Archer's playing quite well. I might make him a bit more aggressive. Beautifully timed. Lovely. And that hit the rope. It struck him no, in. No, that's going to miss the off stump. Upset, but the umpire's unmoved. Have a look at this. I mean, it was struck outside the line. Not even worth appealing that. There was no way that was going to hit the stumps. Big appeal. But that could be out. And it is. Bairstow gone for 30. Which is a bit of a shame. Beautiful ball. Oh, what a shot from Jofra Archer. That's six. Excellent. From him. There's another four. This is perfect. Well, he's bowled, but gone for 39. An excellent... Um, an excellent innings from him, really. Big shout. Exactly what we needed of him. Doesn't want to know. That one must have been close. Found the edge. But Stu Broad has a test century to his name. Backed up and hammered that one. He can bat. The it's just whether it, you know he can refine that form. That's a great hit, and that's six. That's six. So Broad may be looking. He's missed Decent, and that's a dropped catch. And that's going to go for at least two. They're coming back for three. And they make it. So there you go. And he's out. But he's out. Caught and bowled. Went for 17. 207 all out, which in itself is pretty disappointing. But that sets a target for the West Indies. 402 to win. I mean, neither of us have got anywhere near that sort of total. 
in this uh, series yet, so it'll be very, very impressive if they manage to pull it off. Can we win the series? We need 10 wickets. The West Indies need 402 runs to level uh, the series at one test apiece. So, Broaden Anderson starting off. Anderson to Campbell now. Great delivery. But couldn't quite pull it off. Uh, Joffre Archer coming in now to Brathwaite. Miles away from the ball that time. Not quite. T interval day four. Let's see. Spin is going to play a feature. Obviously, we don't have Ben Stokes. Whoops. Well, oh, that's, very that's a dropped catch. Now, that could be crucial. Could be very crucial. That's a wonderful but that time it's caught and Campbell out for 29. So Jack Leach makes the breakthrough, which is excellent to see. Anderson in now to Brooks. The umpire says not out. No. Broad now into Brooks. And that's gone. Excellent delivery. He's gone for 15. That's now 86 for 2. This has probably been the, the strongest start by the West Indies so far in this series. Brought in to Brathwaite. He's gone as well. He's out for 56. That's a huge wicket to get at the end of uh, this day. Archer now into Blackwood. He's gone as well. He's out for six. Four down now. 126 for four. Here comes Joe Denley to Dorich. And he gets in on the action as well. Dorich gone for 17. The West Indies 5 down now. And you feel like it is only a matter of time before we skittle out the West Indies. End of day 4 then. The West Indies finish on 141 for 5. Uh, we are 200... Or they, they need 261 to win. Anderson first over of the day. And he gets Ambrose out for 8. Excellent from Jimmy Anderson. We'll bring Broad in as well. See if we can skittle the rest of these guys. And win the series. Four more wickets required. Edged and gone. Broad gets the wicket. Chase gone for 12. Broad coming in again. And he gets another two in a row. Stuart Broad on his third hat-trick ball of the match. Here we go. Not quite. But Stu Broad has been brilliant in this match. Here comes and Anderson well, into Joseph, away. but doesn't quite manage it. Joffre Archer and Jack Leach. Can these two finish it off for us? There's Archer's wicket. Joseph has gone for five. And West Indies need 230 to win. We need one more wicket. Who's going to be the man to get it? Jack Leach now to hold that. There's nowhere near the... Not quite. New ball is available. We'll take the new ball. We'll give Archer the new ball. And Anderson. Or should we try and get Broad as five wicket all? Anderson to Gabriel. And it's caught and that's it. Anderson gets it. And there you go. So Shannon Gabriel gone for two. Anderson gets the wicket there. And we win by 217 runs. An excellent match. Stu Broad, uh, pick of the bowlers once again. 4 for 46 there. Two very good bowling innings from him. Jimmy Anderson getting four wickets overall in the match. Um, and Stu Broad gets man of the match. And I think deservedly so. He, he bowled terrifically. Uh, as I say, you know, he had three hat-trick balls in this match, which doesn't happen too often. Lots of rain delays, but we managed to get over the line, winning by 217 runs, which means we win the series now. We, we the West Indies can't come back, but uh, hopefully we can round out the series 3-0. Uh, we'll have a little look at the Test Championship. Um, and I, I believe... Do, do you get more points for... Winning 3-0 rather than 2-1, I assume you do. Uh, we're going to go for a batsman's pitch next time and really try and get our batsmen into some good form before the Pakistan series. That's a, a worrying thing to see, though. Ben Stokes out for four weeks, so we'll probably see 
Sam Curran come into the squad next time out. So if you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button down below. It honestly really does help out, especially early in the series to get this to as many people as possible. So please do hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for daily cricket night, uh, Captain 2020 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.